Hi friends, hello, it's Karen Hines here again with Solutions Make Small Business Marketing. And I'm in beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Jamaica. Hey doggy, and that's my guard dog. So we are on the last day of 2020. Guys, I must say that this year has been one that almost all of us can say we've never seen. The impact of COVID-19, no doubt. And I also want to mention that it has brought a lot of change that we probably wouldn't have seen happen to be possible. So, for the first few months, I noticed that a lot of people had fear because, you know, things seem so uncertain. Uncertain in our household, uncertain in our economy, uncertainty in our government, in our education. I have three kids that didn't want to go back to school online they wanted to go to school physically and I will tell you it broke my heart I had to stand firm even though it was hard to hear them cry and to see that after I made a tough decision um, to keep them at home and to do school online that shortly after pretty much everybody is now online and the thing is that these are fears we had as parents that possibly wanted to homeschool that said, you know, that, oh, you know, maybe we can't do that. Maybe we can't do that. There's a lot of things that we were awoke to and saw that for years, for centuries, for generations, it would not have ever been a norm. But in this generation and in this lifetime, we saw that. The same things that could never be a norm became a norm. A lot of eye-openers. I found that I got closer to my kids. I mean, we were always close. But just being drawn closer to my kids, closer to, you know, my family, especially those in Jamaica, that for a while just with the business of life and you know toiling okay they're chasing the car and they can't get out just for you know the business of life building building your um, business you know how our priorities were just really focused on one thing and we didn't really have balance and Balance is something I've always prayed for. I've always prayed for balance, and not just physically, but mentally, emotionally. And I found that I had to work hard and be still to actually see that balance materialize, to see that balance in my life, you know, this summer was a tough summer for me, uh, mentally, emotionally, and um, I'll tell you that depression is real, anxiety is real, guys, and salute to those that checked in, salute to those that passed by from a distance, because it helped, and salute to those that said, you know what? It doesn't matter what it is that you'll pull through and me believing that and working at it every day and when I say working at it it means just getting up you know having your affirmations having those you know devotional time having those quiet moments when nothing is done just dedication of five to ten minutes a day when you just reflect and you reflect on what you need to do in your life for you to have total happiness. Listen guys, it works. 
So again, 2020 may not have been the best for us, but if we had our eyes open, we would see that also um, through the tough, challenging times, that some positive things have happened that probably wouldn't have normally happened. So let's approach 2021 with joyfulness, with caution, but not fear. Just know that obviously when we put God in the center that all things are possible. It may not be in man's time, but for sure it will be in the right time. Thanks so much for tuning in, for supporting, supporting my Kickstart projects, for supporting my small business, my marketing. Thank you for supporting by giving me those small jobs, medium jobs, and those big 